Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void! Today, gonna be a long ZVZ from TSL 7 here on Yaganatha. Bottom left, it is the Korean Zerg Dark. And in the top right, it is the Red Zerg player from Italy, Rainer. So, two excellent players going at it in a macro ZVZ. Haven't cast one of these in a while, it feels like. I do like long macro ZVZ games, and I try to cast them whenever, the, uh, whenever I get a replay that is a long macro ZVZ. So those of you who enjoy long macro ZVZs like I do, you are welcome. Looks like, yeah, 16, 18, 17 here from Dark. Rainer going pool first. Pool first here from Rainer. It's not a 12 pool, but it is a pool first at about 16 supply. Let's see if he takes his extractor. That will show us how interested he is. Oh, there we go. Inter interested in uh, being aggressive, he is. 17 hatch from Rainer. No gas yet. Okay, so he's just preparing for a 12 pool from Dark. But it's a hatch first from Dark. 16, 18, 17, indeed. Yeah, so there's your gas. We won't have metabolic boost for a while yet, but man, he did make six Zerglings. But based on these build orders, Rainer shouldn't be able to kill anything with those six Zerglings. So, okay, so Dark's ahead at this point. If you go for early lings and they don't kill anything, you are behind, especially in a ZVZ. Little lings looking for dark lings. They aren't any. There aren't any yet. The spawning pool isn't done. Overlord comes in and says, ah, a hatch first play. Excellent. Well, let's see what I can do with these. <laughs> I was prepared for lings. And, well, there's nothing. There's nothing to worry about here. Two queens in production. And two sets of lings on the way. And drones might have to fight here a little bit. But I'd be shocked if any drones die right now. Let's see how these lings do. Yeah, drones full evacuation mode. Oh, they can get that one. Okay, so they did get one drone. I take it back. A single drone did die. But only because they were in a war zone. Obviously, they didn't have to die. Anyway, yeah. Lings popping out. Just drawing. There you go. Drawing some fire. This queen does really doesn't want to die. Gonna have to run out of there. After, after getting a bit of a surround here. More Lings popping. And now it's time for Rainer to take his cue and get on out. So Metabolic Boost, again, didn't get started until a while there for Rainer. He doesn't have speed on his Lings. He doesn't have any kind of a speed advantage here at all. Just maybe whatever, you know, good micro he can do against Dark's great micro too. Because they're both, you know, the top of their game. Baneling Nest on the way from Rainer back home. So he's going for that. You really can't skip the Baneling Nest or the Roach Warren in a ZBZ at this level. You need one of them. If you don't have a Roach Warren or a Baneling Nest, you're pretty much just going to die. That said, Dark doesn't have either of those things. So we'll keep an eye on that as, as we go on here. Bunch of links here from Dark. Again, nobody has speed yet. Rainer's speed is a little bit faster. Yeah, obviously a little bit faster here than Dark's speed as there you go they're about 10 seconds apart and speed's done off to the races we are with Rainer's Zerglings cruising 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 and oh, fast slings chasing down slow lings and murdering them is just a way of life now what do we have by way of defense nothing so making 12 lings to defend we're walling off a little bit here the third base is in a little bit of a lot of trouble yeah a lot of trouble with Banelings to defend, any Lings that come to try to take uh, support the third base or to attack. Oh, is Dark going for a counter? It's like, fine, take my third. I'm going to go kill your third while you're busy. And full wall off means you're not getting through and Banelings coming up from Dark. Obviously got his own Baneling Nest, double evolution chamber, and the Lings coming up for Rainer's third base to try to take it down. Baneling here to defend, handful of Lings here to defend, and saves it. So I think, yeah, Rainer was behind, but the fact that he gets the third base up and Dark doesn't means that now Dark is behind. So well done. Well played here by Rainer. He always has really good game sense of when to attack, when to make units to defend with, and so far, so good from him. It is, ooh, missile attack upgrade coming in from Dark before he even has a Roachworn. Before he even has a Roachworn, he's getting missile attack. Ah, 
a small minor bailing hit there. That could have been a little bit disastrous. God, third base canceled again here. Rainer just absolutely holding, holding it down right now. Making sure this third base by Dark is not easy to get, if at all moderately possible to get here. Roach Warren finally getting started from Dark as part of his wall. Rainer getting his own. Oh, got a bit of a bailing attack in here. Uh, did any drones die at all? Maybe. Rainer might have lost one drone, but that was definitely not worth it for one Baneling. Yeah, Roach Warren from Rainer coming up quite nicely. Bit of a Ling attack down here, but his own defensive Banelings and Queens and Lings enough to hold it for Dark. Hanging out in the speed zone. It's a cool place to hang out. Where did the... What? Is he dropper lording Banelings in here? How did these get in here? Beautifully defended by Rainer, though. Oh, a little bit sloppy at the end. As soon as I say that, of course, and three drones do go down. Is he... How? How did he get him... Oh, he ran Lings in and morphed him into Banelings and then went for it. Okay. I guess that makes sense. That said, surprise Rainer didn't see those in advance. Pretty big committal to Zerglings coming into the third base. Not enough to kill the third base. Not enough to kill much of anything at all, honestly. Like, one drone gets killed in addition to the three that died to that those Baneling attacks. And yeah, this is just, again, knife fight and a phone booth level stuff here. We're not super committing to Lings and Banes, but... Okay, sniped a queen. Nicely done on that front, Zerglings of Dark. Third base popping now for him. And yeah, Rainer has a bit of an advantage, but not a whole ton. It's 48 to 47 total workers right now. Rainer has a lead, but not as much as you would expect. I mean, the income has been favoring Dark by quite... I mean, just that's a huge spike for just a second there as Rainer's drones were in trouble. There at the third base. Zergling comes in to check the saturation, sees it is pretty heavy. But this is something of a Ling Flood with a little bit of Roach support coming in from Le Reiner, from Italiana. Defensive Roach is on the way from Dark, though. He's going to be able to hold this. Right, defensive Roach is defender's advantage, always kicking in in these situations. Your Roaches uh, can get to this battlefield a lot faster if you're defending, right? Always, always, always. Banelings are not doing a ton of damage to the Roaches, but weakening them so that your own Roaches can finish them off more quickly is always nice. Transfuse comes in, more Roaches coming in from the eggs that are popping on dark side of the map. It's an aggressive push from Rainer. It's not all in. And it's not going to be able to do much. This spine crawler getting on the battle is really nice too. Really, I mean, I like both of these spines. And Rainer recognizes, okay, it's time just to go home. Let's not continue here at all. Nobody going metabolic, or uh, nobody going rather glial reconstitution. The speed for the roaches. Metabolic boost is done. That's for the zerglings, obviously. But 101 to 103 supply. This is a incredibly, incredibly tight, tight ZVZ right now. Lings from Rainer, maybe going to try to dive in here again, checking if there are fourth base for the Korean. There's not. So there's nothing to snipe down there. And again, no sign of a fourth base from Rainer either. Guessing based on creep spread patterns, this would be where it would be. Lings running around, just scouting. Again, checking how much gas there is. Ooh, a lot of gas coming in, which means probably a spire from Dark. And yes, there is a spire. Great read there by Rainer. Checking that gas count on that third base. And the gas count for Rainer is obviously very high as well. So, is he going to go the Mutalisks? Now, <clears throat> how it generally goes in ZVZ is if you try to go Ultras, you're going to lose. And if you try to go Mutalisks, it's a little... It's more iffy, I want to say. It's not an insta-loss by any stretch. But if the Mutalisks... If you don't kill your opponent fast with the Mutas, then you're going to have a bad time. Like, if you're going for the Mutalisk play here, you want to win in the next 5 to maybe 10 minutes at the latest. But, you know, after 5 or 10 minutes, then suddenly we have Lurker, Hydra, Viper, which completely shuts that strategy down. Shuts shut your Mutalisks down, especially if you have some Infestors in the group. And then all of a sudden, you're a sad panda with your Mutalisks. So again, there's a window where you can get stuff done. I don't know where that Dropper Lord went. Did it successfully... Oh my gosh, how's it all the way over here? Run! Oh, beautiful running. Beautiful running. Uh, the reaction time was great. I mean, obviously... Ugh. He didn't have a lot of warning time. But he reacted to it just fine. This is a big roach army. Mutas are out! I don't know that Rainer expected these, or if he did, as the bottom right base gets sniped here... Oh, can he save it? He can save it with these roaches. Very nicely done. So, Mutalisks don't kill roaches very quickly. 
So this is basically Rainer saying, all right, I'm going to make a million roaches. You can't have as many as I do because you made these mutalisks. And I'm going to see what damage I can get done before my roaches get picked off from this guy by the mutalisks. Because again, <laughs> roaches have no counter to mutas, but they don't kill them very fast either. It's like mutas versus zealots, you know? So this is a very nice engagement here from Dark. Rainer didn't expect to win that engagement, but he does like what's going on up here in the natural base and over here in the main base too. Maybe try and, uh, tried to snipe the spawning pool for just a second going after the extractor. It is 163 to 134 supply in favor of Rainer and actually getting a nice concave over here towards the third base as well. Spine crawlers can really only do so much. Upgrade advantage. Dark has plus two attack, but Rainer's got plus one plus one for his roaches, which might be a little bit more important here. That armor is very important in roach versus roach battles. Mutalist count is not huge. Dark is not making more of them. He needs roaches. They do a better job at killing roaches than mutalisks do, it turns out. More and more roaches coming in here, but yeah, this should be handled, and Rainer decided to sign to back on out. Dark saved his bottom right fourth base. That's a huge deal for him. That's a really big deal for him. Sure, he's lost a few drones, but he's only down two total to the Italian phenom Rainer here. Dark former world champion, Rainer former world champion, or current world champion, depending on how you want to look at it. Yeah, I mean, this is really, really good ZVZ. So now the question is, who's going to be able to get into Lurker aspect first? Who gets that Lurker Den, right? Nobody at this point, nobody even has a Hydralisk Den, which I find extremely interesting. Here at about 12 minutes, it is Tunneling Claws from Rainer. Rainer going for some of them Tunneling Claws. The Muta count is not really high enough to be of much of a threat at all. I mean, they can run around sniping creep tumors. They might get a drone or two here or there, but I guess overlords because they don't have speed. <laughs> but the queens in a straight-up fight just completely destroy them. Spores do bonus damage versus them. And overall, the mutas are just... This is not a I'm going to try to kill my opponent with mutas strategy. This is 1 billion percent. I'm making mutas to harass, to try to keep Rainer, Rainer from taking a fourth base while I saturate my own fourth base and go up in economy. See what's true. Creeping down into dark side of the map right, or of the, uh, of the graph right now. These roaches got into the main. Very sneaky. Roaches on creep fast. Really fast unit. Seven drones go down. And dark has a ten worker lead right now. Amazing. Resources lost. 10,900 for dark. 12,100 for Rainer. So Rainer's definitely lost more, but he's 160 supply. He's doing fine. He really is. It's, we are sitting on this whole Roach tech a lot longer than I would expect from a super high level ZBZ like this. Rainer's fourth base is coming in. It is being protected by the Queens pretty heavily. Got some Roaches in the mix too. And the Mutas are maybe going to fly over to the third base to see what damage they can do. Well, again, maybe a couple drones. You really can't commit to trying to kill an entire mineral line because the spore exists, especially because there are only three of you Mutalisks. Uh, at the moment. There's finally a Hydralisk Den and an Infestation Pit on the way from Dark. Infestation Pit on the way from Rainer, but um, again, this is not Dark committing into Mutalisks. Having an Infestation Pit is nice. Mostly against Mutas. Not as good against the Lurker Hydra Viper style. So committing into Infestors here for Rainer might be a bit of a mistake. But, I mean, look. If you see a group of three Mutalisks flying around... You obviously know Dark is not committing into Mutalisks. There's just no there's no indication that he is. You know? So I don't know that, you know, Rainer's going to be dumb enough to over-respond to Mutas here. And it doesn't seem like he is. He is going for the Burrow Move Roach stuff, though, which is always very fun. Uh, yeah, so fun fact for those who might have missed it, but uh, the regeneration, the hit point regeneration rate for Burrowed Roaches was actually nerfed maybe a year or two ago, and the reason was because of ZVZ, which is interesting. It's not usually that something is nerfed because of a mirror matchup. These three mutas are hilarious, by the way. They're just, what damage can we do? But because in ZVZ, the really good Zergs, you know, Serral, Rainer, Dark, Rogue, would put little uh, Burrowed Roach hit squads in mineral lines of their opponents, and then... <laughs> When the enemy came to defend, they'd burrow, right? And regen a ton of HP really fast, and then pop up again and keep fighting. And it was just, like, so intensive and so hard to deal with that they actually nerfed it 
for ZVZ, which is like, that is a skill-based thing, you know? Like, your Zerg opponents can't handle something that they're very capable of doing too. They have the same tech that you do. It's strange. It is a very, very strange thing. One of the more interesting uh, nerfs I've ever seen. And, again, so the other one that I can think of that's mirror matchup based is the change from spores to where they do bonus damage versus biological air, which is definitely a million percent. Oh, don't go over that way. Go here. Oh, lost a Muta. There's a million percent because Mutalesks, because Mutalesk Harass was so strong in ZVZ that they created the spore to be extra good against Mutas. And that was because every single matchup, every single ZVZ match we ever saw was just Muta versus Muta forever. And it was super boring. So that I understand. But the whole nerfing Burrowed Roach regeneration, I don't understand as well. So yeah, we're just in the Roach phase. Both players are getting Vipers, right? Hydras and Lurkers are coming in from Dark. Uh, there are... I don't even know. Is there a... There is a Hydra that's going to Lurker then. Okay, there we go. Now Hydras are coming in from Rainer. So yeah, the Roach Ravager aspect of ZVZ is never that interesting to me. The reason I don't like to cast the shorter ZVZs is because it's always a ro Roach Ravager and like, I don't know, someone got a good angle or someone got an upgrade up on the other guy and they won and it's like, okay, great. But, uh, yeah. Once, oh, these burrowed roaches are hunting these lurkers though. That is interesting thing. Dark's going for it. Dark's like, let's go! Surround on the, in ah! On the engagement here, trying to take care of blinding cloud on the lurkers to kill them. Hot move out of Rainer. Really nice move there with his Vipers. Vipers are so important at this stage of ZVZ. If you don't have Vipers at this stage of ZVZ, the ZVZs that you're playing, you're probably going to lose. Can they get the hatch? Or they got the hatch. Look at that. Nicely done. And getting out of there before the Broodlings could be involved in the fight. That's hilarious stuff. Look at Rainer using Burrow to great effect, though. Do we seriously not have Burrow? Uh, we don't have Burrow from Dark. I wonder how much of a difference that's going to make in this, in the rest of the game. Is, uh, is Rainer going to use Burrow to great effect, which would be, honestly, pretty impressive. Yeah, that is a big Rainer army. I don't know if you want to engage there. He's got his own Lurkers, obviously. He's got his own Vipers here, too. He can abduct your Lurkers into the Lurkers and save, saved it, saved it. Okay, he got some abducts off. They didn't accomplish anything, though, by way of killing enemy units that they abducted. Which is that supposed to be an insta-kill? Corrosive on top of Lurkers is really good, too. They are stationary, and as such, Corrosive is excellent against them. Corrosive landing. Nice dodging there from Rainer, though. And coming up a ramp against Lurkers is a pretty scary proposition when it comes right down to it. These Roaches are patrolling for Burrow Roach shenanigans that might show up at any moment. Upgrades are looking... Both players have three missile and two armor. Plus three armor is coming in from Dark earlier than what we're gonna see out of Rainer, if at all. There we go, he just started it now, but it's, yeah, it's about half, halfway done. See, this is, a little, okay, a little Lurker Harass now. A little bit of Lurker Harass. Gonna kill a Hydralisk or two. You know, just be annoying. Oh, and then while you're worried about that, come take down this base on the right side. Dark is looking good right now. Taking down this hatch for the second time is really gonna help him, especially as he's taken his own fifth and is getting a sixth on top of it. Rainer is trying to take a fifth base at the top left, but that's just going to put him equal on base count. Excuse me. And yeah, that's... Man, Dark is looking really on top of things at the moment. The Burrow Roach shenanigans from uh, Rainer are continuing, though. Is this enough roaches to take down this hatch as it comes up? Rainer's thinking about it. He's like, can I... Sure, let's do it. I mean, it depends on the reaction time of Dark, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it absolutely does depend on that reaction time. Which, apparently... There we go. I was going to say, a lot later than you'd expect, but he does save the hatch. And it pops, but it's very injured. Rainer, meanwhile, going for it. He's got his tech. It is Roach, Ravager, Lurker, Viper. No Hydras in the mix at all. Changelings getting murderized, whether by accident with splash damage or not. Parasitic bomb on the enemy vipers of Rainer. How some of your own medicine there. And ends up almost killing that viper. Down to 3 HP, but not dead yet.
fours getting nice biological bonus shots against those Vipers. Chases them back. They can't really escort this far in, but Rainer coming up on that bottom right side base. Enough Roach attack. Yeah, combined with some Lurker attack here, the hatch does end up falling. Top left base of Rainer gets sniped by Roaches from Dark, however. And Dark pushing up the middle with his own army trying to accomplish some stuff. Yes, this is what I expected from the ZVZ when I clicked on this replay. I really wanted to see some just abject chaos all over the map as Dark's like, sure, I'll dump some lurkers in wherever I gosh darn well please. I'm gonna throw up a Nidus inside Rainer's main base because why not? <laughs> okay, so Rainer seems to have taken hold of his own situation and the top side and then a Nidus arrives. With exactly two lurkers in it. Oh, sniping eggs. That is kind of cool. That queen's going to die. And then back in. Jump, jump, save the lurkers. This is going to be a game where saving units is going to make a difference, it feels like. Yeah, coming down to finish off this left side base. But yeah, Dark's ready for it. He's like, no, 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 no. This base is really vulnerable. I'm going to protect it with everything that I have for the most part. Rainer says, okay, interesting, interessante. Dark trying to throw up a Nidus over this way, but Rainer generally moves his army over here, sees it coming up, and um, it's going to kill it, right? There you go. It feels like that Anakin and Padme meme. There's a Nidus coming up inside our main base. You're going to kill it, right? So Rainer's maxed out. Dark is not. Rainer has a bank. Dark does not have a bank. This is not looking particularly good for Dark. Losing this bottom right base. Rainer establishing the top left base has really helped them economically. Rainer even briefly ahead on the income for just a little bit there recently. And he's making good use of it. Upgrades are 3-3 three, three for both. Abducts. There you go. This is a number of lurkers where you basically insta-kill your enemy lurkers here. Parasitic Bomb, once again, forcing Rainer's Vipers out a little bit. Transfuse on Dark's Vipers. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Dark now coming up. And at 184 to 196 supply. But again, Rainer has the bank. And so Dark is able, not able to replenish his losses as quickly as Rainer is. Five hiders at a time in production for Dark. And just more in the production tab here. Lurkers, Vipers, going for Hydralisk range upgrade. Grooved Spines for Rainer, interestingly enough. But once Dark's able to max out, he does have enough bases to where he can develop something of a bank. And then he should be able to get on equal footing here. But yeah, Rainer's on five total bases. No, six. I guess I just want to count the bases that are mined out at six. Which I generally do, and it's only five for Dark now. So yeah, the Burrow Roaches, they haven't really been necessarily the key to everything today for Rainer, but they've been pretty good. Dude, that is in full vision. That is in full vision. And the army is is convening on this. Get out of there. On Burrow, get back in. Okay, good reaction time. Burrow Roach, they see the drone coming down. Oh, it's actually a Burrow Roach blocking a hatch placement. <laughs> That's not something you see all the time. That was like burrowed lings against Terran. It's more expensive to have a burrowed roach do this, but it provides the same benefit as burrowing a ling against an expansion here. Rainer's rebuilding his roach war in which he must have lost some kind of a lurker attack earlier. It must have died very quickly. Adrenal glands coming in from Dark for his Urglings and actually working on plus one melee. That is interesting. You usually don't see any kind of a reliance on Zerglings after this facet of the game comes up because they're bad against lurkers and roaches <laughs> of ducks all over the place and actually Rainer's Vipers again taking the worst end of that they've consistently been killed at a faster rate here than darks have it's two to nine right now and yeah nine Vipers have died for Rainer and only one for dark that's insane Rainer does have to pour a ton of his resources into making seven more Vipers to replace the ones that have died here today. This is... Man. This is some good ZVZ. I really, really enjoy... Really enjoy this level of ZVZ we're seeing right now. This is, again, why I picked this replay. Is hopefully to get this kind of stuff. Yeah, Spore's doing a lot of work. Sniping down Overseers. 
sniping down vipers bonus versus biological doesn't just apply to the mutas it applies to everything that zerg has that flies overlords overseers you know brood lords and mutalisks and corruptors Rainer sharking around, trying to see what he can do next here. Dark needs another base. I don't know. He he needs a sixth. I don't know when he's going to be able to get one here, but if he doesn't get it sooner or late, rather than later, I mean, Rainer just has a gas bank that Dark doesn't have. If there's any kind of a huge engagement where both players lose their armies, Rainer's going to be able to remax, and Dark can't do it. More Spore. Dark is really leaning heavy into the Spore stuff right now, which I think is smart. If you can have a Viper advantage in a ZVZ matchup like this, at this stage of the game, you're going to be just fine, actually. Oh, blocking him in so the Lurkers actually do work. Oh, that's good. It's really, really good. Okay, so now we can expand? I mean, I guess maybe this Roach is a bit of a concern. You can see this, right? The Overseers can see this. Yes. Absolutely can. Big lurker attack here from Rainer, though. Some roach support. Lurkering, like, between a gap, which is always a strange thing to see, but totally viable. Viper squad back from Rainer. You know, after so many of them have died, it doesn't matter. There are more where those came from. That is the story of Zerg. There's more where those came from. Yeah, this is looking bad for Dark. He just doesn't have a gas bank to speak of right now. He is completely out. He's under 100 gas. He's got to rely on things like spines and spores to try to hold this off. But Lurkers outrange both of those things pretty extensively. That's the whole point of Lurkers, is their siege units. And the static defense just keeps dying here. Dark's lost 31,000 resources. Raiders lost more at 34 but how much does it matter dude this roach is alive still how is it still alive it should not be alive abducting a lurk you get back here you get back here you don't get to siege up and then oh there we good abducts from rainer though oh sick abducts from rainer but blinding cloud over everything might actually keep them alive what is going on right now nope though did not help entirely there The Overseers had to stay away because of the Spore Presence. Look at this. Look at these Spore. There we go. Oversight mode. Beautifully done. And then you snipe down the Spores, and then the Overseers can move in. It just It's a slowing technique that Dark's employing here as he tries to get this bottom right base up and rolling. Perhaps again for more Vespine Gas. He could really use that. And Rainer's taking a seventh. Taking a seventh base here on the left side. It is pretty exposed. It's got a lot of attack paths up into it. Which, again, the farther away you expand from your main, the harder the bases are to defend. Especially for Zerg. So, it makes sense. The map maker, maker did their job here. Uh, Dropper Lord coming in from Raynor. Keep thinking these are Raynor units, but they're just changelings that Dark has is on his own base for some reason. Again, Dark has more changelings on his own units up here. Okay, so yeah, this is him trying to use lings as little... Counterattack things plus two attack adrenal glands are pretty good against spines as it turns out and it's going to force a pretty big response here from Rainer. Now the question is can he take advantage of this huge response versus a handful of zerglings to maybe head left and a little more lings doing this. This is good. I don't know that I've seen lings use this effectively in a ZBZ late game before. This is kind of inspiring as someone who likes to use lings a lot but often finds them running into into lurkers more often <laughs> than not in the late game against Zerg. And that, this is what we're seeing here, is these lurkers are beautiful Ling deterrents. Uh, really does do a good job preventing Lings from getting a whole lot of damage done in the late game, you know? Yeah, hey look, these slow Lings are obviously mine, says Rainer. Once again, changelings could stand to be a little bit better at hiding their true nature. Oh, these lurkers just a little bit of a run by. No detection here at all. Oh, I guess there's a spore there, but that's not good enough at all. Uh, nine kills and three kills on these lurkers. They're going to die. But they got some work done. You know, they probably could have killed 
this lurker. There you go, and they did. Nidus comes up. Ling's running into the main base of Rander to try to snipe his hive. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Plus two Ling's with Adrenal, man. Plus three is on the way to make them those full Heraklings. Oh, and they can get that lurker. Get it. Get. Oh, they got a lurker too. Everything else from this point is gravy. Look at him bringing him back. He doesn't have enough minerals to spare to like lose these lings for nothing. This really does feel dire for Dark though. His bank is just nothing for minerals or for gas. Rainer is able to rebuild to some extent everything that he loses, which is good because he's been losing more. But not losing so much more that Dark feels comfortable about it, you know? Yeah, this gas is important. He's not actually... Oh, he's got needs minerals too, though. Ugh. Both players around 45 workers or so. This Nidus finally died. Oh my gosh, the Lings are coming through, though. They're actually doing pretty well against these Ravagers. <laughs> wow. Okay, not enough to kill this one. Dark abducting uh, the Overseers. There's a bunch more here from Dark, though. Strike me down. There will be four more that take my place. Changelings unable to do too much scouting before their true nature, again, is discovered. By virtue of them being slow, I just wish that the Changelings would have... Like, combat shield, right? If they were marine changelings, they were... If they had the speed upgrade, if they were speedlings. If they had the zealot legs charge upgrade, if they were zealots. That's all I want out of changelings. They're minorly a tiny, tiny bit harder for, for professional players to spot a changeling. That's all I want. It's never going to happen, but it is on my wish list of things I'd like to see in StarCraft 2. Uh, this night is just coming up. I don't know what Dark's doing with it. The answer is a lot of Zerglings. Okay, it's the abduct, the abduct center of the universe here. That is a lot of hiders that Rainer has out. Hmm. Which, if you made more roaches, they trade really well against that many hiders. Yeah, Dark feels like he's making some desperate moves, right? Ling run by into bases he knows there are lurkers at. Picking off queens and spines where he can, but like, it's not exactly enough to force Rainer to go home, you know? Hey, an evolution chamber died. Neat. Uh, I guess killing all these drones is not terrible. All right. That was pretty good. Nine drones down is all right. Abduct, abduct okay, the Abductorama. 9,000 is here. Blinding Cloud, very nice from Dark. Getting some nice hits off on these completely blinded Hydralisks. It's gotta do more than blind though, right? It actively, well, you'd think it would actively block projectiles from going out, right? Going much further out of the Hydralisk than normal. But in that case, you should see attack animations that just don't actually connect with their target, right? Look at me picking nits today. I'm nitpicking. All right. So Rainer basically says, all right, look, if I can hang on to this left side base, which I am, and I can prevent Dark from taking this base, which I, well, I was until recently, then I can totally win this game, says Rainer. It's a game of economy at this stage. Most games that get past the 30-minute mark are games of economy, yes? All these lings are just... They are not paying for themselves. And Dark doesn't have enough minerals to do this. I mean, it's cute stuff. It is. I'm not going to complain about it. As someone who really likes using lings in late game ZVZs. But it's just not cost efficient at this stage. I mean, this base is pretty well unprotected. If these lurkers unburrowed and wandered up here, they could totally kill this. Help put Dark onto some even footing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of static defenses died for Dark today. He's made a lot, too. But 30 spores have gone down and 6 spines. That's a lot. 
Oh, that lurker got abducted and survived. It is always a very impressive thing when an object gets abducted in a game of StarCraft 2 and lives. Raynor just has these two hit squads. They're perfectly set up to where he's doing a good job on the right side, pressuring, but also this attack into the middle, getting a lot of work done too. That's a lot of lurkers though. Crossabile, oh, beautifully placed. I think that took a Viper and a lurker down. Nice Crossabile indeed. Are you too deep? Are you too deep into enemy territory here, Rainer? But he can remax. <gasps> Not if he's supply blocked, he can't though. Okay, so Dark's attempt at this base is completely foregone. Rainer making more Overlord, so he's not incredibly supply blocked, so we can actually spend his money. Thanks, that'd be great. But yeah, he's too supply blocked to remax right now. He's at 130 supply. But totally wiping out this base of Darks is a big time hit and a victory for Rainer. Coming into the bottom right, these Hydras are just virtually unopposed. A handful of Lings is not going to save this. Darks decided, all right, base race time, forget it. You can have this my most important source of income in the entire map. I'll just kill your newer, newest source of income. And maybe then kill this, and then we'll see how this goes. And might turn into an insane game. Rainer says, okay, quick expansion. Oh, his bank's gone. He did made a bunch more hiders and lurkers into lurkers, and then roaches too. Holy crap. I think Rainer has this. I just do. I mean... He doesn't have a bank at all, which is amazing to me, but it's not actually up that much in overall supply either. Oh, those drones long distance. 40 kill lurker! Those drones were long distance mining from this base and got absolutely destroyed. 35 workers from Dark, though. He still has a better, better economy, and his army is not that much smaller either. But Dark is down about 20 total supply. Again, a lot of that is drones, which I'm not sure how much those matter necessarily right now. Hydra's coming in to try to deal with this, but yeah, the roaches alone. Little bit of a concern. Another hatch goes down. Dark is getting squeezed right now. He's getting squeezed into a corner. Look at Dark taking this top left base, however. The one that Rainer was at. I think maybe Rainer's okay with that. Yeah, I'm trying to i I'm trying to decide. Kinda feel like he's alright with it. Because this base has more resources available at this stage, right? Also, Rainer's just going for it all together. Just absolutely parking himself at the front door of Dark and just blah, 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 blah. Just trying to murder everything. Roach Warren down. Baneling Nest. Gonna die. Evolution Chambers. Spine Crawlers. Nothing can withstand the might of Rainer's army right now. That said again, Dark's like, okay, we'll do a little bit of base trading. How about that? Not a base race. We'll base trade ya. You can have my third base and my natural. I'll just be killing your other things. But once again, these bases are largely dead. They're a source of no income whatsoever. Coming up this ramp does not seem impossible, Rainer. I would recommend you do that. And Rainer's just, he's got a 50 supply lead on army right now. A 50 supply lead on armies right now. Yeah, man, I think Rainer's got this. He's been so careful. He's been just so absolutely willing to just take it slow, right? He's not A-moving here, which isn't something you do with Lurker, Hydra, Viper anyway. It is very much a siege, kill stuff, move forward, siege, kill stuff, move forward kind of a thing. Dark has this income. He's oversaturated on everything, but it doesn't matter. It's the only source of income that he has right now. Rainer taking all the gas from that right side new base that he took because he needs gas more than anything at the moment. And he's got a lot of minerals to draw from there too. I mean, you look. These mineral patches are shining. They're running out. These mineral patches are extremely stable. There are tons more. Tons more minerals available to Rainer at this stage of the game. Okay, any abducts you can do. Overseers, good. Lurkers, better. And, oh, Lurker from Dark manages to sneak up to Rainer's new source of income. And he's hiding some of his drones away. Because he's worried about losing them. He only has 26. It's not a huge number. This is a good game. I still feel like Rainer has it, but I've been wrong before. 
many, many times when I've tried to call games before they are over. The caster curse is real, but at the same time, if Rainer wants to come up here, I don't recommend it. There's a ton of spores, as a bunch of them have made the pilgrimage over to this base from other locations. Oh, setting up an overseer in range of a spore is not great. I... <laughs> Are the abducts kind of just at a wash right now? But if they're a wash, it's good for Rainer because again, he has more money, he has more supply. If he loses a lurker for a lurker, then sure, he'll take it. He'll take that trade. Dark can't can't really afford to do that very often before he's just dead. The single lurker play is just so common. Yeah, Rainer's just trying to squeeze Dark up into this corner, right? He's gonna kill as many creep tumors as he can. He's going to kill as many of these bases of dark as he can. He's going to kill these reinforcing hydras as much as he can. Oh, got it. Got it. Didn't lose anything in the process either. Yeah, I mean, this is dark has a dying spire, dying infestation pit in hydralis den. He lives up here now. He's like, please, please come try to kill me. And all right, little abduct action. Nice parasitic bomb. Split. Split Raider! Oh, man, took a lot of damage. None of the Vipers died, though. That's massive. Look at these lings, though. Going after that hive. I don't know what killing the hive does for you. But look at this. Raider's got income there. He's got income here. The income tab is favoring Dark somehow right now. I'm not sure how that's going on. <laughs> no, Hider's overextending from Dark. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Look at... Dark, if Dark Slings win this game, I'm going to be flabbergasted. Look at these. <gasps> Ling. Oh, my gosh. Lurker Ling action down on Rainer's his newest source of income, which can be very, very important. Is he, can he get this hatch? I bet he can get this hatch. He gets the hatch. He ends up killing nine drones. Rainer only has 16 remaining. If Dark can do that, this Lurker's like, oh, don't look at me. Oh, my gosh. They left him alone. They left him. They thought... Raynor thought he killed him, but he didn't. Okay, now he's sending units back to finish him off. <laughs> Ling's trying to take down just buildings. Oh, we can just base race from here, right? Dark, once this income is gone, man, that's it. That is it from you. Raynor, sending some drones down to this replanted base along the bottom right, which Dark has killed. This is a this is an epic ZVZ, man. This is one of the better ZVZs I've ever cast. This is amazing. Dark's replacing his Lurker Den because he wants more of those. Ah, he's going for it. He's going in. The roaches are getting obliterated, though. That was not a great choice. Out of Rainer. He's down to 128 supply. Dark only has 108, so it's not the worst position in the world. Nice abduct, nice abduct. But, oh, Dark gets away with it. Again, another unit abducted and surviving. Dude, there's no way. There's no way Dark can win this game after being backed into a corner like this for so long. Or can he? Rainer's gas income is basically nothing right now. Dark's checking to see, is there anything defending this? Could I send a little... Ling attack over to maybe take it down. But the problem is, if you go this way, you're going to give advance warning because you're going over cre enemy creep, right? And going south is not going to work because the army that's stationed outside your front door. So I don't know how Dark gets any Lings over here. He, I mean, technically he could have four. He doesn't have enough gas to make a Nidus Network and a Nidus Worm, though. Uh, how did the, where do these hydras come from? I guess they snuck out the north door. Oh my gosh, they're finding vipers. But they're also all going to die. I don't know if this was the right move from Dark. But also, he couldn't just sit there. Look at him sniping vipers, though. And kind of getting out of here as well. The hydras run. Roaches are so fast, though. Speed zone. Give us some kind of advantage. Oh, the lurkers, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so Dark made a little... <laughs> juke! Juke! Juke, 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 Run! Run, little Hydras. You are not that fast of units, are you? 
You're really not. Oh my gosh, he did it. He got some lings down here. In all of the confusion that the Hydras created. Okay, so these Hydras came into the main base to die. More lings are dead, though. But Drone Cat knocked down to 16 from Raynor. Don't... Oh, Burrows. Burrows him over. Look at our research Burrow, finally. Dude, Dark did. Okay. <laughs> Two mineral patches here. Three or four mineral patches down in the bottom right. And then effectively a full base here from Rainer, which he is using. And this base is mining out quickly for Dark. Okay, Dark sends his lurkers out to kill some buildings. Again, the way you win StarCraft is you kill your opponent's buildings, so they don't have any left. It is a strategy you can take. Creep spread push in. These creep tumors are dead. Yeah, goodbye, creep tumors. I just, I mean, Dark's really made a game out of this. He has really done a good job harassing. Oh, these lings. Taking the wrong road, man. There we go. Heading on out. Rainer, very. Just, again, patiently, casually. Alright, so he finally takes down this hive, which he's been trying to kill for a while now. But Rainer, very, again, casually putting the pressure on Dark, forcing him into situations he doesn't want to be in. Yeah, every one of these spores that dies is so good for Rainer. Good abduct. Lurker doesn't die. Oh, but a queen does. Another queen does. Another queen does. This is the end. This feels like the beginning of the end right now for Dark. I mean, ugh. The beginning, sure. We've already seen the beginning of the end. This is the end of the end. Rainer doesn't have a maxed out army by any stretch, man. He's got these minerals, but like... Gosh, what's he doing with them? He's making Hydra. I guess he's making a queen. Which counts for something. More Zerglings from Dark. Just trying to get as much value as he can from these Lings. Taking down important tech structures for Raynor. That he doesn't want to have to rebuild. Oh, this Lurker gets back just in time. Got 18 kills. 17. I mean, these Lurkers are really big time killers. 28 on that one. 14 on that one. Again, as many buildings as you can possibly kill. That's what these lings are up to right now. Spore coming forward and tanking some of that damage so that the lurkers for Dark can get into a better position here. And that's it. <laughs> Dark recognizes... Yeah, I'm not winning this game. I made some really nice moves, but no. And Rainer is your winner in 47 minutes. What a ZVZ that was in DGG to both players. Remember how Rainer had more resources lost there for most of the game? Yeah, at the end, 84,000 lost for Dark, 76,000 lost for Rainer. That is a massive difference. That's a massive swing. Both players lost the same number of drones, effectively, 62 and 63. Same number of hatches, actually, 7 to 7. One hive for Dark, two hives tied for Rainer, <laughs> which is hilarious. 16 Vipers went down for Dark, but 34 died for Rainer. Rainer's Viper control, not great, but enough to win the game, it turns out. 52 Lurkers died from Rainer. Uh, 62 died from Dark. That's where a lot of this came from. 68 Hydras died for Dark. 52 for Rainer. Uh, yeah, we're just seeing some discrepancies in some of these unit numbers that have gone down. As far as gas is concerned, especially. The gas-heavy units dying a lot more uh, for Dark here. But how many Lings? Only 267 Lings died. I feel like there were more than that. But uh, again, they were largely... <laughs> Again, they were largely, uh, it's just more about, I don't know, Rainer having a lot of patience, a lot of control other than the Vipers, and yeah, just backing Dark into a corner until he tapped out. That was a good ZVZ. I really, really enjoyed it. Hope you did too.
All right, so that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.